Admin SD Holder is a system container uh, on which permissions are applied that are then distributed out to all the domain controllers and applied to any of the protected objects. Those things are, for example, enterprise admins, domain admins, server admins, can be the built-in administrator account, etc. So any modification to this uh, should be taken very seriously, and this is one of the common things uh, that uh, is used to create a persistent presence in an environment after, for example, a successful lateral attack. Uh, so I've opened up the properties and I'm gonna go to advanced security. And I'm just gonna simply uh, add a user um, into this. We'll look for Albert Einstein. And we'll give them full control and apply that and hit OK. Warning changes, 63 permissions are added. Do you want to make this change? Yes, we do. And OK. So in order to defend against uh, this happening in your environment, you need to be very careful and monitor for that. Now, there's another service that after about an hour will replicate those changes out. So you do have a little bit of time, but notice we have an alert here. This is Chaosoft Guardian, and I didn't act fast enough. It was an alert in Teams, and it tells me that the DACL, or the um, discretionary access control list, was modified, and uh, we can go in for details. So I can click right uh, for details. You'll see I've done this demonstration several times here. So, And by the way, we also monitor those um, uh, privileged groups, so there's controlled groups or protected groups, uh, so that you can make sure that privileges aren't being escalated. We do that both on-premise Active Directory, and here you'll see this is Global Administrator in Azure Active Directory. So we do both environments simultaneously. We're really watching that. But the really cool part here is that once I see an alert, I can go in and get the details. It's going to ask me to sign in to Guardian. This is our Guardian web portal. And it has a running change history here. So I can take a look at all the different things. I'll go ahead up to my alert. And I'll take a look at that very last one. Click for details. It takes me to it and it says, hey, by the way, administrator, which is the account I'm signed into, uh, on this domain controller modified uh, some properties. And we'll come over here and I see, oh, the security descriptor was modified. And if I actually dig into this a little bit, it'll tell me that, hey, by the way, this was... Um, the Albert Einstein account was granted those 63 permissions. Now, I happen to know if I'm the owner of Active Directory, whether that's proper or not, likely, no. Uh, I don't want that. I know I have a little bit of time, and I do not have auto rollback turned on. I'm just going to click Restore, Yes, and that change has now been reversed. I get another notification saying it's been changed. That's the reversal. Uh, of course, we're going to notify you every time that thing's changed. Uh, and if I come back and look at my properties here and go back to advanced view, Albert Einstein is nowhere on this list. Pretty, pretty good stuff. Uh, just one last comment I'll make uh, on the solution itself. In addition to the alerts, uh, I can come back. Let's close that up. And we'll just do a quick refresh. And you'll see there's the initial change and there's the rollback. You'll also see that all other changes to both my on-premise directory and cloud directory, Azure Active Directory, are maintained. And you'll see uh, Azure AD Connect moving things across, deletions, changes, uh, new provisions, users, license changes in office, mailbox changes uh, to their security, et cetera, et cetera. The list just goes on and on. It's the only comprehensive solution that provides uh, monitoring and recovery uh, in a true hybrid fashion.